a cue to start? Or? No, you get to go. Okay. Hi, everyone. So my story is about a time in my life where I had the best, yet worst, yet the strangest experience. It all started on a Friday night when I decided to go to the Harvest Crusade Festival. And for any of you who don't know what that is, it's basically this huge Jesus Fest. And you go and you worship, and it's a ton of fun. It's held at the Angel Stadium in Anaheim. So the first night, I decided to go with my two close guide friends. And the reason I was most excited to go is because I just stopped working at a job where I was working every single Sunday morning. And during that time, I was kind of unable to go to church and kind of lost my way with Christ in a bit. So I was really excited to go and kind of just revive my faith in a way. So the first night, I went with my two guy friends, and we went, and it was so much fun. I totally loved it. I loved the message and everything about it. And I was ready to go for the next two days of the weekend that the Harvest Crusade was being held. So before I went home that night, I said, hey, guys, you know, I've been wanting to get my ear pierced. Would you guys want to go with me? And they're like, yeah, sure. So I go, and I got my ear pierced, and I went home that night, and my parents totally screamed at me, and they thought it was the worst thing that I could have done. And they're like, I can't believe you did this. Like, look what you did to your ear. Like, what's wrong with you? And it was so terrible. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Just shake it off. And you know, it always sucks getting yelled at by your parents, right? But I went to bed that night. It's like, you know what? Tomorrow's day two of the festival, and I'm su super excited to go. So day two, I go with my older sister. And I told her, hey, Lauren, you know what? Yesterday, parking was really bad. And there's a lot of traffic, and it was hard to get in and out. And it was kind of expensive. And my best friend lives at the apartment right across the street from Angel Stadium. So you know, we can just park there, go and walk across. So I go to my friend's apartment complex, and I'm entering her code, and I go all the way up to the visitor parking at, at the parking structure. And I park my car, we go, we walk across, and again, at the harvest, super love day, it was so awesome, and I was ready to go tomorrow for day three. So we leave harvest, and we're walking back to my car, and we're in this big lot, and I don't see my car. And my sister's like, just like, no way, like, I'm sure you parked somewhere else, like, try looking over here. And I was like, no, Lauren, this is definitely the spot where I had my car. And I'm looking down, and I see that it doesn't say visitor parking, but it's somebody's actual parking number. And it turns out my car got towed that night. So I'm on the phone with the towing company, and they're like, yeah, sorry, we have your car. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And I have to drive all the way over back to the towing company, and I get my car. And it was $300 to get my car out that night. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. I have a job. Like, I can totally pay this off myself. And it sucked. That's $300 lost, but it was fine. And the next day was day three of harvest. Now I'm super excited to go again, and this time I'm going with my mom. And so I go to the harvest, and this time I paid for parking, because I was not about to have the same thing happen to me again. So I go to the harvest, and I paid for parking, and we went, I loved it, it was so awesome, I loved everything about it. And this time, walking back to my car, my mom says, hey Jess, is that a dent in your car? And I'm like, no way, mom, like stop, there's not a dent in my car. And she goes, no really, there's a dent. So I'm looking at my car, and I see this dent right where the hook would have been, where my car would have got taken from the towing company. So I'm on the phone with the towing company. And I'm like, hi, like this thing happened. And I sent them a photo. And they're looking at their video cameras. And they're like, oh, yeah, sorry. It looks like we dented your car. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, why are all these terrible things happening to me, you know? So they, the towing company fixed my car. It was not an issue. And everything was fine. So I went to bed that night. I'm thinking, you know what? Tomorrow's Monday. Fresh start, don't even worry about everything that's happened to me this past weekend. So I'm driving to work, and there's traffic, and I'm driving, and I finally get to work. And that day I got fired from my job. And I have no idea why, I did nothing wrong. Honestly, the doctor I work for is just such an idiot. So I get fired, and I'm so, at this point I just lost it. And I'm, I'm driving home, and I'm crying, because I'm so overwhelmed with all these crazy things that have happened to me. So I'm driving home, and I'm bumper to bumper traffic, of course, driving all the way back from Irvine, coming back to Anaheim. I'm in bumper to bumper traffic, and there's all these cars in front of me, and I look to the lane to the right of me, and there's a clear wide open lane. So I'm like, okay. So I jump in this lane, and I get closer, and I see this big white car. And right on the license plate, it says, Reviver. And that moment was just so, I had chills, and I still get chills even telling the story. It was just so symbolic to me, just thinking that basically all these terrible things that have happened from getting yelled from my ear piercing, getting my car towed, getting my car dented, and just getting fired from my job, and basically all this traffic that's in my life. And all I had to do was get right on the right path of God again, and basically um, just figure out how everything's going to be, and everything's going to be okay. And basically how God works in my life, not only that weekend, but every single day, and it's a miracle.